Moshi Moshi my Gamers and welcome back to Genji Impact. Today we're gonna finish up doing the cat event. The gentle dust bar flavors of stable, relaxing environment, perhaps still be in comfy furniture will be to its liking. I wonder how it's gonna be here other than Mona and Amber. So let's place the furniture. Confidence should be most priority apparently. Is that what it is? So much more higher. Uh, I think aesthetic should be it. Comfortability should be more higher than anything else. There you go. We got that done. That was quick. Okay, out of there. Now we're playing with the kitty. Let's give you this. You're not sure what happens, but a small smoke cloud appeared. <gasps> it's grey! Okay, let's go play with it. Now, what do you like from the pets? Is that the ears? You don't want the ears. Okay, you put the face. Oh, you like the face. Let's go to the, the stomach. You enjoyed that one. Okay, let's go for the arms. Okay, we got the arms. What about the paws? Let's give it the paws. Oh yes, let's give it the paws. Yeah, you keep purling. Let's go for the other paw. You don't like that paw, I'm sorry about that. Okay, let's go for the belly. You don't want the belly up either. What else can I touch then? What about your tail? Okay, you don't do I should touch it more than that because I have to sit down and wait for a while to do that. Okay, it's got the eels. You don't want the eels. No, I'm just gonna keep putting your head until it's to zero. That probably like more easier than what I was doing right now. Okay, let's go with this. Let's click kickling on your chest. Come on, chest, chest, chest. You ten percent. That is zero percent. No, let's go with the arms. Okay, cherish friendship. Let's go for the arms again. Let's keep touching the arms. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Until if it's zero percent, that's pretty much means I'm done. Pause. Okay, build this area. Okay, what about here? Okay, there we go. Let's keep petting you. Almost done. One more. There you go. Inspirational friendship. Okay, the party is looking around like, ooh, look at the hand. Oh, you're actually a simp. I mean, you are great like her. A job wasn't so playing. <gasps> Weirdly enough, I was thinking that because the gray color it looks like Razor's kind. Bennett, can we keep it? Please. Allah, I should take care of it. Me, promise. Who can you name it? Mm, maybe Bennett. Why would you name me as Bennett too? Because this is bestie. We are really besties. Let's talk to Razor, see if he wants. Why is he just staying there? It's you, me, I'm talking. <laughs> talking! Razor! Are you talking to Dust Ball? Meow, meow, meow! It seems like Dust is trying to say that's right. A familiar scent. Looking for friends. It's, it's good. Happy. Like, holy shit. <laughs> meow, meow! Friends follow the Oh, friends follow the scent. You came too happy on your body. The smell of wind and rain. Very slim, familiar. The scent of nickels. Also familiar. Part one. Very sweet scent. Smells good. Also, very emergency food floating around. The fuck, Razor? Eh, sweet! Could that be a little of a pancake Fairy gave us? Did you ever like that many? I uh, give you half of that by potion, remember? Really? But I didn't even notice. Mmm, it's all the package food for being so delicious. He <laughs> about also wants to eat sweets, madam. Steaks and hash browns. Oh, and drink some apple cinder. Okay, that's the meal of the next meal then. Come on, Nita, let's go place an order with Valina. You come to Razor? Thanks. Thank you. Dustball has bought me lots of nuts. Wait, what? These nuts, what? And meat boxes. I am very full. Sounds like the order of delivery then. Does Mother leave the food to, to you, Taser? Meow, meow, meow! How many men that cats could actually end up taking care of customers here in the Fellow Fortress? Looks like you really are the cat meow, eh, Razor? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that. Wait, so I saw this door opened apparently. <gasps> what? Oh, hold up. Oh my god. It's, it's, I guess these rooms do have a purpose now. Now, let's go in here next and do the next place. So, comfortability... Okay, I think confirmation should be more high if you ask me. But at the same time, those still need to be high at some point. 
So I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna put Essex. There you go. Now, who's healed? Well, not yet. I gotta do this next. Uh, let's give you meat. A black and white pearl castle into the fall of fortress. <gasps> black and white? Bennett, out of all things, why is this one black and white? Eh, uh, you could say it's just from a different breed. It's like a mix of black and white, as in though black and a nick. No, wait, don't say that. Okay, I'm gonna do a same strategy, so. Oh, you're questioning it. Okay, never mind. So sorry. The ones. If it goes lower, I'm just gonna keep clicking until it gets low. Depending on you until the zero percent. See, okay, zero percent. There you go. You don't want to pause. Okay, what about that hill? Seriously? Okay, Billy. Okay, you like that? Okay, just keep going, keep pushing it. Yeah, you enjoying that, do you, kitty? Now zero percent. Ten percent. Now zero percent. Okay, the I guess. Uh, what the head? No! Put the eels. Okay, the eels works. Keep paying the eels. Because you like this eels. Let's keep touching them. No, let's try the tail. I don't know about the head. Okay, the tail works. I'm gonna put my fingers up against asshole. That'd be funny. Let's keep going. Yeah, keep putting this one. Ten percent, and then it's a zero. Okay, the paw. Okay, she doesn't want the paw. Let's go for the head. I'm going for the head, not the eels. I'm sorry. What else do you want? Oh, back to the chest. Wait, did I try to? Did I try chest area? I don't know if I did. Let's just keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep petting you away. You're almost done. Almost there. Just. Oh, zero percent. What can I do now? The pause? Okay, um... What do you want, Dex? Back to the tail. Okay, friendship responsible. You wish for a responsible kitty. Hey, you better subscribe to this channel. Otherwise, bad luck and no purchase. Hey, Joe Wilson has played the cat. <gasps> FISHAL! Better can we go in there? I mean, sure. I mean, why would you want to- Is that official? I, the princess of the- Wants a cat. Fischl. Um, what the fuck's she doing here? I have no idea, Wazer. What shall be? What the fuck you doing here? Me asked the same thing. Well, let's check it around the cat's ass office. The cat over here should enjoy being friends with me, um, uh, with us. Can crows and cats be friends? I the cat eat crows for food. Let's talk to Fischl. What's she doing here? I saw a lot of dialogues. I mean, not really. I don't care if it's just or not. Oh, 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 there's a woman scared letter the people's name, the Furball Fortress. And yet, it's the first to such a pleasant manner. Stabby, one might even call it. Surely, a few swing wall from the vines of purple gates against gates might be built. Plus, several less mouse with candles made of this sea salt. All the better, like the cat's feeding pattern for the most flavorful stars. And yes, status. Push into the matter of cats from nearby, melting the very color of lost Sally and adorning them with strange pearls and dear just from the deep end of the fortress. Certainly, the world make for an obvious choice. You surely must agree, do you not, dear familiar? You have to agree, you never be puzzling. Think of that. Then you know that it shall be a noted haunt of known to her. Meow? His name is Dobby. It's the man person is. Dobby isn't the brightest and he can't really understand or appreciate your exquisite choice of words. Please show him because she person saying, Hey, wait, no, that's not right. What is wrong with cats like this woman? She sees official. Aye, the great cat curse. I still pay my humble respect. Ha ha ha, am I accredited? Cat cutter, the head was more has been brought before our English person by the wings of the threats of fate. This a most pleasure reunion. What a little piece of shit! Look, looks like Fischl heard about us from Finra. Why you could say much thought that I have given to leave within a wish to realize the winter being from photo experience and at sight of the most serious and so with the cat familiar to accompanied by motion person of the studio. Meow. Oh, so you will also play on taking care of the cat, Fischl? Well, understandable. Most people want to have their own after seeing just how old they are. But Fischl, don't you only have Oz? And the TV is tend to move really fast. Can the cat keep up? Or are you gonna have Oz fly with K the cat? While? Hmm. 
Why? The pussy about the bottle on. Often Charlie 3000 universe, there such a journey may not have been long. Having more suitable companion and gaining insight into things easily overlooked, naturally wouldn't hurt. Always would also like to have a cat familiar to play. Ahaha! I have to join forces with the guarantee that my mood shall shine bright as moonlight every second of every day. Yet, this is a shame that thou also went to great place to join when to set most of each. He cannot diminish the infinity and could not approach the cast familiars. When the deal always gets within five pieces of the cast familiar, the first shall uh, eventually stand on end and affect the part body body on the mode. Any closer and terror will overtake them, and they flee in the hills. The Amino or Counterfell and Loyal Nun recommend that Oz was posed without, and as their advice was sound, I crazy obsessed. Majesty? Oh, my problem, can said. You mean that Oz is brought so much electric energy that the second they enter the full of fortress, all the full folk gets electrified, right? But if that's true, then how could a cat even travel with your official? If all there was some material to that could block the effect of Electro, then you could make cat close out of the materials and then cat could travel with you and all, so no problem! You know? Those electric slides will be no match once I have done the part of war. But now that all that's about it, ele elemental power is super duper mega strong. If there were a material, that would just easily resist something as powerful as the element. That would be too good to be true! The pleasure is stand around daydreaming. Ah, the natives. Do we not jump to judge the kid from your town, though, common sense? The civic sources of resources of mere mortals' world struggles to occurly cover their properties. Perhaps so in the world there exists a cat's familiar that can dive deep into the depths, endure into an inferno, and run upon the winds, such as special entity would surely have no fear of thunder and lightning. As long as I am impatient in my search, I shall find it. Forsooth, even if I should seek for ten years of a hundred, it shall be but a fleet isn't in the intermestrature. Additionally, the dredge of one to fill in his life is appointed as the eternal nature one and born with. I see the dopey has missed potential. Perhaps after joining my wheel of first spill, it will become all the more familiar within the power of Electro. But happiness is I, the princess in, have decided a minimal material affair that's allowed myself into the time to spare. Perhaps then it shall not hurt. It doesn't to stay here and follow myself with these cats from here. Perceptly this dopey! Meow! <laughs> the power hopes that you'll find him here in the volleyball, official. That was a lot of words I gotta go through. Okay, I'm gonna say the next one is right here. Wait, hold up. Where is the next one? Hold up. Do I have to talk to... Hold, let me check this out first real quick. So that's done. A sudden spirit gets suddenly arise at the fall for to destroy while the trap plug leaves Virgil in a panic. Why is he hissing? The head? Uh, the cat is hissing at me, Miss Rosaria. I'm scared. You should probably give him some space. Get too close and all that swatting might catch you in the face. Oh no, seems like Valerina has run into some more cat-sized trouble. Hmm, there's something almost defined about him. Honorary Knight! Cat Whisperer! This big cat just barged in here after Snowball! He must have spotted her when she went out for a walk and followed her all the way back here! Easy, easy. No one's going to hurt you here. All those evil things, all those bad people who forced you to do whatever it took to survive, they can't find you here. You're safe within these walls. Why did she say it like that? Like as if she was the cat. Um, I don't know. You're surrounded by good people now. Their constant hovering might get a little annoying, but it's all for your own good. Just relax. A life of leisure isn't a bad thing, you know. You just have to get used to it. He, he understood all that? Looks like it worked. <laughs> Smart cat. Whoa, this cat is way bigger than the others. His coloring looks like fresh squeezed buell fruit juice. And he's wearing a scarf too! Huh? Looks like there's some sort of design on it. Oh, it's the symbol of the Knights of Avonius! He deserves a name fit for a knight then. Hmm, he is pretty feisty. How about Sir Pancelot? You really do have a way with cats. He looks way more at ease now. Paimon thinks you deserve to take the credit this time. Sir Pancelot seemed to calm down right after everything you said to him. You're getting much better with them, was all, yeah? It doesn't matter to me either way. Although, the fact that they're cute doesn't hurt. But Paimon 
and show you how to put Sir Pouncelot completely at ease. Paimon just needs to work a bit more of her magic and he'll be as happy as can be. Hmm. I mean, can we just call like Puss and Boost or something? So is that it? Or can I actually play with that cat? Oh yeah, the last one. Here we go. Let's go. Last cat that needs last comfy scene though. Hmm, comfortability and sex. Okay, I'm gonna say oh boy, that's like too much. But the Aztec is even more. Oh boy, name look at the Aztec too. Aztec, Aztec. What about the coffee next? Oh, let me mess with these. So, is the Aztec not that high then? What about what about the coffee this? Hmm, Aztec here, is it Aztec here? That seems so high if you ask me. Not gonna land that fight. Just messing with them. Okay, nothing in the Aztec area. What about the coverness? Oh my god, really? It's like the opposite of what I'm supposed to do. Okay, I'm waiting for the hint. Okay, assemble, whisper, and... Oh. Okay, assemble, whisper, which I already did. And the Kelfi one I did already. Standby, steady... Huh. I'm gonna take next case like probably one of these tables. There you go. Damn, this is more fancy. It's like Faltaine. Or oh, is it a Faltaine kill gonna be? Oh wait, no. Let me feed him, see what happens. How about I give you chicken? Yeah, just chicken. That's it. Say to the side, the gal meow, and the opponent's approach. Hmm? Wait. Um. So is that it? Is that really it? I mean, I think that's it. Oh, well, I'm supposed to play with it. I was like, what's everyone else? Dad, look at the scar on your face. Are you okay, kitty? You need hat pads? Okay, okay, let's start with the head. Okay, I think I wonder want to start with that. Which paw your body want to be pet on? About your paw. Okay, that works. Let's keep touching these until it gets to 0%. Let's keep touching the tail. I mean, keep touching the paw. Let's keep going. Yeah, this one, boy. Zero percent. Okay. Okay, back there works. Yeah. If Master Jean comes here, be like, I want this cat. That's a good warrior. Or it could be D. Luke or any monster people. Maybe it'll be Kaya next. He said, like, I want to keep this one so I can scare the fuck out of D. Luke. <laughs> Let's keep petting. Now you have zero percent. What about your tail? Okay, the tail seems to irritate you, so you don't want this. What about the what about the eels? Okay, the eels work. Let's do it again. Let's keep on going. Cherish. That's good. That's good. I'm gonna keep going. So the bite you too. Okay, keep on going. Okay, let's keep going. Zero percent. But the head. And you still don't want that. Okay, 10%. 10. Zero. That's your paws. Okay, the paws got high, so I'm gonna do it again just to fill that up. Okay. Now that's done. It shows us a cat. Is there anyone? Oh, no one's here. Your talents work well as Cassie has been saying your grand cat gets grow jelly and world behave. However, it's more of dress. I see that it's still quite a story to tell. Okay, what's going on? Oh, look at Mel. Actually, now that I think about it, he's yellow. So I'll probably give it to Ethan. You better be on your best behavior from now on, okay? Don't go causing trouble now. <laughs> I know you're a sweet, happy little cat. You'll get along with everyone just fine. He's so adorable. I just want to scratch his head and pinch his little cheeks. He does have a certain endearing quality about him. When he's not causing trouble, that is. Hmm. I wonder how he got that injury around his eye. The traces of restorative potion. Albedo? Pounce a lot should be in the vicinity. Huh? Oh, it's the traveler Paimon and Sister Rosaria. Uh, and you must be an adventurer. I don't believe we've met. It appears Sir Pounce a lot has taken quite the liking to you. Place? 
I'm assuming the captain of the investigation team is here for some important reason. C captain He's a captain of the Knights of Favonius? One of... An officer just showed up without warning. And I don't even have any refreshments or snacks to offer. Please, allow me to explain, sir. I assure you, this shelter is operating under a legitimate business license. All proper procedures have been followed. I'm going to get that happy has applied to investigate his business. Follow me uh, firstly searches for the relevant documents while explaining the purpose of the shelter. Follow me appeals immediately by the identity of the visitor. Honorable that the investigative team doesn't handle such inspections. <laughs> There's no need to worry. I was simply in the area helping my team address a small issue. Namely, the location of this cat right here. Not too long ago. Interim Team Feline Treatment Case Number 3, Sir Pouncelot, knocked out the weapons officer who was watching over him. He then fled and disappeared into the city. We knew we had to recover him as fast as possible. The cat belongs to the investigation team and even bears the insignia of the Knights of Favonius. If he were to wreak havoc across the city, well, that would hardly be a welcome result for any party involved. Hmm, that would explain the Knights of Favonia simple. You're saying Sir Pouncelot is capable of knocking out a knight? And what's with all those official sounding titles you added to his name? Interim treatment case something or other? Is there something else you're not telling us? Uh, well, I suppose I should explain. Two months ago, Sir Pouncelot got lost in the wild and accidentally ingested whopper flower nectar. Due to certain effects that are not entirely understood as of yet, the nectar caused him to triple in size. Triple? Even regular sized cats can get pretty bold when they're upset. A cat triple the size? Oh, Paima bets even a hilly churl wouldn't be enough to scare off a cat like that. So that's what happened. No wonder he was so anxious. For cats, or really any animal that lives in the wild, a larger size doesn't exactly confer many advantages. What it actually does is make their appearance more noticeable and their movements less nimble, which in turn means living in perpetual danger of exposing themselves to attacks from predators. In other words, it means living in a constant state of fear. Exactly. When Sir Pouncelot stumbled upon our encampment, he looked quite worse for wear. His entire body was riddled with scars, and he appeared exceptionally anxious. That's awful. I guess he had a good reason for all that swatting earlier then. If all that had happened to me, I would be afraid of new people and strange animals too. You don't need to worry too much. The problem has already been solved. I administered a restorative potion to eliminate the alchemical effects of the Whopper Flower Nectar and help him return to a normal size. Although he still might appear a bit larger than the average cat, his current size, at least, should pose no more threat to his quality of life. While in our care, various knights have been taking turns watching over him. In light of his feisty demeanor, Klee decided to call him Sir Pouncelot. If only Clee was here, I would like that. We even made him that little scarf as a testament to his time among our ranks. Whoa, Clee and Paima were totally on the same wavelength with this one! We thought of the exact same name! Great minds really do think alike! <laughs> Sir Pouncelot's extreme level of anxiety and caution around people may be a result of residual trauma from the time of his transformation. You could say he was less than friendly towards the weapons and signals officers on our team. Klee wasn't around that much to entertain him either. However, it appears Sir Pouncelot has taken quite the liking to you. The knights on my team would never have imagined that he could warm up to people like this. <laughs> well, they are our dear cat saviors after all. The famed honorary knight and Paimon the Cat Whisperer. No matter how feisty or frightening the cat, after a few minutes with the Traveler and Paimon, they'll be as sweet as can be. If that's the case, then I have a question for you both. Would you be willing to adopt Sir Pouncelot? Wait, really? your team? Well, we did take him in, but it was simply out of necessity. We were always planning to find him a permanent home after his condition became more stable. The investigation team is no place for a pet. 
We are a combat unit, after all. Any knight he got close to would have to go on assignment eventually. It's hardly appropriate to just leave him at camp. And bringing him on our missions would only frighten him further. All good points. He's been through quite the ordeal already. For a creature like that, it's best to keep him away from potential triggers. That way, he can slowly recover in peace. Hmm. We could set up a nice, cozy little home for him in the Serena Teapot. It has everything he could want! And most importantly, no monsters. Hmm. Also, you got a new home now, Sir Pancelot. Thank you so much, Albedo! Oh, no need to thank me. If you find yourselves with some time on your hands, maybe you can bring him by the encampment sometime. I'm sure my fellow knights would love a chance to see his calmer side. <laughs> that was so touching! I can't believe I got to witness such a special moment! I do believe this counts as the Furball Fortress's first successful adoption! Hey, my veil is not a handkerchief. I thought she was about to grab her ass, like, what the fuck? It appears you enjoy interacting with small animals, Sister Rosaria. I must admit, I find that a bit surprising. Paimon can also sense that you're an animal lover, Rosaria. You definitely have a way with cats. You just haven't realized it yet. After all, it's not a side of you that comes out very often. Snowball warmed up to you right from the start. And you were the one that helped Sir Pancelot calm down back there. Oh, uh, I didn't really do anything, though. I was just there. Ah, I've got it. I've learned so many useful tips from our dear cat saviors recently. I've decided to extend the shelter's trial period for a bit in order to go over what I've learned. With some effort, I hope I can be a cat whisperer too one day. For now, though, I'll settle for cat whisperer in training. <laughs> when I open for good, what do you say we run the shelter together, Miss Rosaria? With the two of us, we could rescue every stray in Mondstadt. Mm, the sister and the whisperer working together. Almost sounds like it was meant to be. <laughs> oh, well, this errand hasn't proved to be too troublesome. It's light on work and stress. I suppose I wouldn't be opposed to your suggestion. I don't know much about rescuing stray animals, but this seems to be quite the milestone. Allow me to offer my congratulations. If my fellow knights run into any strays, I'll be sure to tell them to send them your way. Thank you, thank you, thank you! I really can't thank you all enough for your support! Don't worry, there's a generous reward in store for each and every one of you. The trial phase of the Furball Fortress could not have been more successful. When we open for good, you all simply must come to the opening ceremony. We'll cut the ribbon together. Now that's what Paimon calls a successful commission. Rewarding in more ways than one. Mora, a sense of accomplishment, and of course, our special friend, Sir Pancelot. Talk about a win, win, win. Paimon can't wait for the Furball Fortress to open for good. What's up, Bill Joy? Is he still here? Oh, he's gone. Oh, well, I'm gonna veil. Like, subscribe, I'll see you on the other side. No, no.